Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a non-local keyword in Python. Non-local keyword. So actually, we know the local variables global variables right and there is a third category that is a non local variables third one is a non local variables so we know that these local variables are the variables which are declared or used inside of any function inside any function inside any function and the global variables are used outside outside the function outside the function right and and this non-local variables will be used in nested functions the concept of nested functions right so first let me uh, tell you about this non-local variables the importance of non-local variables here and then i will demonstrate the same thing by executing a small program in the interpreter see let us take an example i will consider some n is equal to 10 and i'm writing some uh, function so that is uh, simply i will write it as a display function and here uh, if i print this n here print n and again i am calling the function so we need to call the function unless we call the function this function definition will not be get executed so we have to write the call and then here also i will print the n value n value so in this position the value of n will be 10 and in this place the value of uh, uh, n is 10 because here we have not declaring any variable inside the function so this will be treated as a global variable a global variable and this variable this value can be used anywhere in the program that means outside the program i mean outside the function and inside the function so if you declare here n is equal to some 200 then this the, here inside the, uh, the display function the n value will be at 200 because here the global variable and this is a local variable right this is a local variable so we know that local variable and global variable if both if both share the same name share a same variable name then the first preference will be given to the local variable so if you print if you print this n value inside the function the first preference will be given to the this n value so 200 will be getting as a output now instead of declaring this one that means instead of initializing this one if i use a n is equal to n plus one so what happens so here in python we are not having any declaration path right we are not having any declaration path directly we are we are assigning a value or expression to the variable so here also the same thing we are evaluating the expression n plus one and we are saving the value inside the variable name n so here the global name and the local variable global variable and local variable both share the same name right so global variable n is having some 10 and local variable we are not having any value but we are updating the value and uh, using this value in, inside the i mean uh, we are saving that particular expression uh, result to the n value but n doesn't holds any value so here n will be treated as a local variable but n doesn't have any value so our perception is we need to update the global variable so if you want to use a global variables inside the function so if we need to declare it as a global n global n so that we have already discussed in the previous sessions right so this is a difference between a global and a local now we are discussing about the non-local what's the importance of non-local so this is used in the nested functions for example let us write the nested function here nested function here so i'll write the display function 
I will write the display function. So I will take here n is equal to some a is equal to 100. Okay. And once again, I am using one more function df show function. Show function. So here I am using some a is equal to a plus 1. And a is equal to a plus 1 and print a print a so we need to use we need to call the function and here also i will print a right so this is a nested function so inside the function we are using one more function so here n is a global variable and a is a local variable n is a is a local variable so local variable means a value can be used anywhere inside the function but not outside the function right so anywhere in the function but not outside so here this print a this will give it as a hundred no no issue because inside the function we can use the a value as a hundred but here inside the function again we are using one more function okay so if you declare here a is equal to 200 now the a value will be 200 and here a will be 200 plus 1, 201. But I am not declaring or I am not initializing any value to the a, but I am just updating the a value. So this is also a, called as a local variable. Okay, this a is also called as a local variable because you can observe the definition local variables are used inside any function. So this is a local variable used any, any, any function, I mean in this particular function, anywhere in the function. And here a is defined in show function, not in the display function. So a value can be used only in, within the in this function, within this function. But here we are not having a value. Okay, we are not having a value. So if you want to use the a value which is declared outside the function, that means in the outer function, then we should call it as a non-local, non-local a. So we have to declare it as a non-local a. That implies a will be taking the value of 100 right so this value will be 101 okay so don't get confused nested functions so this non-local variables are used as the nested functions so if you want to use the variable which was declared in the outside function outer outer function so this is the outer function this is the inner function so whatever the variable we are using in the outer function if you want to use that variable in the inside function so simply we, can, we have to use it as a non-local a. So that implies this is not a local variable. It's a non-local variable. So automatically the non-local variable value is 100. So 100 will be taking into a. So a is equal to a plus 1. So 100 plus 1, 101. So 101 will be printed here. Right. So if you want to update the variable which was declared in the outer function, then we have to use this non-local a. Right. So I will execute the same thing in the interpreter so that if you are still having any doubts, so definitely all the doubts will be clarified. So here we are having the three different variables, local variables, global variables and the non-local variables. So all the variables are called, uh, will comes under the local variables. And if you want to, I mean, the variables which are declared inside the function and which are declared outside the function are called the global variables. And we are using the declaration in Python only in these concepts. So one is using a global keyword. Another one is using the non-local keyword. Non-local keyword. Right. So we'll move on to the interpreter. I, I will demonstrate the same thing in the interpreter. Let's move on to the system. Hello, friends. So just now we have seen uh, the syntax of uh, a non-local keyword right so for a variable we can assign a different uh, scope that means the local variables global variables and now it's a non-local variables so in the previous sessions we have already discussed about the local and global variables and as now we have discussed about this non-local uh, variable so which is which will be used in a nested functions right so let us execute one program demonstrating these things. So whatever the variable we are declaring outside the function will be considered as a local variable. So I'm giving 10 and I'm defining a function. So call it, call it as a display. So, sorry. 
so i'm taking the display function and just i'm printing here um, i'm once again i'm taking some a is equal to 100 and i'm just printing here print a sorry inside comma a value and i'm, I'm just using the display function here i'm calling the display function and print and here i'm using some outside okay so this is now you can observe here so we got inside it's a 100 and outside it's a 10 because a is equal to 10 this is a global variable right this is a global variable so global variable and this can be used inside the function itself but here in this case in the inside the function again we are using the same variable name so that if if global and local variables shares the same name automatically the first preference will be given to the local variables and this is nothing but a local variable right so it's a local variable so inside the function we are printing a that's a hundred and outside the function we are printing a that is a 10 so in the absence of this one for example there is no uh, we are not giving the a a value in the definition i mean function definition that means there is no local variable if you execute <coughs> Just a second yes so if you execute you can observe inside it's 10 and outside it's 10 because there is no value given inside the function for a value so that's why a global variable can be used inside the function so that this we got a idea about local and global variables and if you want to update the global variable inside the uh, function so we are simply using a is equal to a plus 10 so executing so we'll get unbound local error because here a will be considered as a local variable right if a is considered as a local variable we are not assigning a value for the local variable but we are just giving an expression because in python we are not using the declaration part so we are assigning a plus 10 to a so here a will be considered as a local variable so there is no value initially there is no value but we are keep on updating this one so for to avoid this one just we can use a global keyword global a so that if you execute automatically the same variable can be used inside the function right so in such a way in such a way in the absence of all these things see so i'll take a is equal to 100 and once again i'm using the function once again i'm using the function so here i am printing a see inside show a inside display a okay so and here we need to call the function so i'll call the function here show function so execute see inside show 100 because so outside the outside the function whatever the thing we are calling so this is the scope of the function right so a value can be used anywhere here anywhere here right so this is a complete statements belongs to the display these are the complete statements belong to the display and so a can be used anywhere in this particular function so inside the function also we can use similarly if a is equal to 200 so you can observe now so inside show that means inside the function again we are declaring a variable so that implies this will be considered as a local variable okay and this is also a local variable but this variable only for the outside function because inside the function again we are using a so if you want to update this a inside the function that means a nested function okay so if you go with a is equal to a plus one we will get again unbounded local error so if you use the same thing which you have used in, in the global variable so i will go with a non-local a see we'll get the value 101 and inside the display also we got a 101 right inside show is a 101 inside display it's a 101 so we are declaring a variable with a non-local keyword which is which implies that it no it doesn't belong to the local function that means it's not a local variable if it is a local variable the scope of variable can be used only inside the show function only the for show function right so we are declaring that a is a non-local non-local means so this value will be keep on existing so we can update the this one right hope you understood so similar to the local and a global variable 
we are using the local variables and the non local variables and this non local variable concept will comes if you you are, if you are using the nested functions so if you want to update any variable which was declared in outside function into the inside function then we have to go for the declaration by declaring that particular variable with a non local keyword so this is the importance of non local right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much